definition of humans moving mountains. Over here, it is absolutely gnarlebuckle, dude. I'll tell you what, I'll leave you the keys to the car. I want my ID to fall then. So graceful. Okay. I swear I'm not the Wow. That is very nice. Good morning, Revelstoke. What an absolutely beautiful day to wake up to. The sun is shining, there's people diving in the pool. The queue to the roller coaster is getting much longer. So our bags are packed, we're ready to go. And are you ready to go get in a virtual queue for maybe an hour? All right, out we go. GoPro in hand. Somewhat hoping it's going to be able to film. <gasps> the wicked sick rad roller coaster. I really do feel like I'm in France right now, you know, French Canadian sort of thing. All the wait times go up to 45 minutes. You need to work out where we're going for this roller coaster. But look at that. The gondola is a going. First thing at nine o'clock in the morning. Guest relations, we go there, get a ticket, get in the virtual queue, gets us up the mountain, and then we shred the gnar. And the queuing begins. Oh, that was quick. And we're at the front. How long does it take the roller coaster? Coming down, yeah, three to six minutes. Depends on how much brake you use. No brake. Do you have to brake? No, you, you don't, don't have no to. No brake. I love whoever named these. Yeah. Salad fingers. It's that is a, brilliant. <laughs> All right, if I put a screenshot on the screen now, we're in the virtual queue. We've got 60 minutes. So it's a long wait. However, we're hungry. Time to get some breakfast and check out this dope area. Imagine how cool this place would be in the snow. Imagine. Like what a absolute vibe ski bro. <laughs> These look so good. Look at that. Honey sticky bun. Oh my days. <laughs> Absolutely vibe. Let me slow down. We've got an hour. An hour. Um, Hey, it gets even better. Iced maple latte. One small step for man. One giant leap for the gnar shred. Look at the size of these kids who are just going shredding the gnar. Fearless bastards. Yeah. Gondola. <laughs> Because look at it, like, come on. Don't worry, <laughs> if the lift stops, text oops to this number. <laughs> oh, nah, I prefer oops. Oops, I'm stuck at 1500 feet. Can someone come and save me, please? It's just so very pretty, I like it a lot. What's that film where they got the little thing breaks and they roll down the hill in there? Oh, I don't bloody know, and why would you say that? Dumber and dumber? Oh. Name the film. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah. Welcome to Nar Shredded. Oh, go on then for Ken. I will one last time. Probably, probably not the last time. Would you just look at that view? Revelstoke. Incredible. You ready to send it? Let's do it. When we went on the water, the GoPro came in clutch gonna attempt it again today and just hope for the best. Slam it on me, hope it records, and hopefully it's a music montage, epicness of me screaming, sending it down the track. Testing, testing. It's good this, cause like, if you do a fight sequence. Oh, damn. <laughs> All right, Lid, good luck. See you later, baby. Okay, I wonder if I can do this like an actual race start. I'm going. Oh! Oh! Oh, this is terrifying! Oh, this is terrifying! Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is fucking gnarly! What the fuck? Oh my god! Are you sure I'm not gonna come off? I actually cannot express how fast this is. 
Do you genuinely feel like you're going to come off it every two seconds? Oh my god! Oh, look at that view! Would you just? I just look at that view! Flipping heck! Oh my god! Break! Break! Finish line! I break where it said break. I didn't. You didn't break? No. Dude, that, sh that was insane. <laughs> what the heck? I shit you not. I totally ah, thought I was going to go flying out of that thing. <laughs> yeah, it definitely that feels like that. Too. Wow. I didn't break once, not once. I did twice. Because it was like, it said break, and because my glasses, I couldn't see whether, you know, the flashing thing was flashing. Well, there's only so me was, on the track. Well, yeah, but I thought I might be catching up with you. I was going that fast, I thought I would have caught up with you. Nope. I went so fast. Holy <laughs> eight. Lydia picked this activity, 10 out of 10. I know it might sound ridiculous and the queue time is mad. Come early in the morning, that was amazing. The pipe mountain coaster is one of the most crazy fun things I've ever been on. I saw little kids getting on it and stuff like that, so I thought it was gonna just be like, meh, mediocre. No, you not at all. No, it's not it's that like, I pooed oh, you. Just I just like thought it. it was like some shitty toboggan. It's not a shitty toboggan. It is actually a mountain coaster. Wow. My face, I was like, what is going on? I couldn't believe, babe, I could not believe how fast that was. You were just smiling. I was, I was shiting myself. I'm so proud of you. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, cheer. when I say I thought I was gonna come out of it, I do mountain biking, I do all sorts of stuff. Oh, I had a lot more weight than you, babe. I was going around corners like this. I was like, is this really gonna hold me? When it went over like the steep hill bit and down, I was like, this is not safe. That was so much fun. Though. It was like, Canadians are crazy to do axe throwing. I always thought, shit, this is not, this is not built well. Turns out, it's built really well. All right, from roller coasters back to Revelstoke, because we have got some cards that we are shipping out to all the family members of grandparents and that, and a card from the baby from me and Lydia, all the way in Canada. And we it think. Like a good stamp. Oh, yeah. Oh, when they open it, they see a Canadian stamp. Yeah. They'll know. They'll know it's from us. So we're at the post office now and get them sent out. And I can fully announce that everyone knows about the baby now. It's been a bit secretive, obviously, like when I've been sharing it in the vlog. Um, it's not really mattered that much because these vlogs are behind. But they've just announced on like their Twitters and Instagrams that um, the baby's here. And uh, it's really quiet here, so I'll be back in a minute. And just like that, the cards are sent and we got some stamps, so when we're traveling around and we see postcards from like all the places that we go, you can just fill them in, and I'm gonna send them to Arlo along the way. Yes. That's his name, he's called Ar Arlo Lawrence Hanforth. Aww. Right, we've got some big traveling ahead of us, so time to put in some gas. Now, as far as all that I need, it's either diesel or regular. I think they call it regular, because that's what I'm putting in. Yep, I am 100% right, we're good, we're good. Uh, however, uh, the, 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 you, have, you have to press buttons. I think I only need regular, they said, so I'm gonna go for this one. Must pay before refueling. Got it. Oh my gosh. Someone just put $300 in before I got here. <laughs> and we! The train's going on by. We're fueling up, and money is going in the tank. I have no idea if $100 is gonna fill this car. I've just put 100 in, and it just it keeps going, and it's not stopped yet. Because if I don't use the whole 100, it will stop, and I'll get a refund. But yeah. Oh, perfect timing. Okay, so I'm gonna get two dollars back. Nice. And we are done here. Time to collect. Oh yeah, she's gone inside. Snacks. Because there's nothing like going to a 7-Eleven. Yes, Lydia. Tell me this. <gasps> Chocolate milk. Lydia's in the restroom. I've paid and I'm gonna try my first ever Jack Links beef stick. Oh, oh, oh. That's not a texture I was expecting. I'm gonna describe it as a crunchy outside and then it's soft and mushy on the inside. Meat stick, you weird. Meat stick aside, beautiful views. We're getting some proper food for the road. Oh, they have French onion soup here as well. Oh, winter only, winter only. But I'm getting this, that sounds good. Got my ass maple latte, two sandwiches, and the lady I'm with. She got a drink called the Hulk. And now, at nearly half past one, we're finally hitting the road. <laughs> Woo! Two in bam. 
Oh yeah, and the crazy thing is, so it's gonna be a like four hour drive for us to get where we're going, but we're gonna stop off at different locations. So even longer. But then when we drive past a certain place, we uh, change time zones. So it's gonna be an hour ahead even more. Madness. Revelstoke, you were amazing. Next stop, bam. Possibly back here in a few days. And possibly back here in a few days. Possibly back here in a few days. It would be rude to not say hi if we're crossing back through, but let's see where today's adventure takes us. Hey, listen, this is now us officially leaving Rebel, Rebel Stoke. Stoke. It has been a pleasure. It has been an absolute pleasure. Look at that view. Look at that view. Next stop, Emerald Lake or something else on the way. So this is a little bit crazy. It's a tunnel on the edge of the mountain because they've clearly got that many trees and rocks and like maybe snowfalls. <gasps> so they basically build those things so like when the trees fall and the snow falls and everything, it goes off the road and doesn't block the road. Yeah, Smart. avalanche warnings everywhere. Yeah, like an avalanche, anti avalanche tunnel. Every time we go round a mountain, another mountain shows itself and they're just absolutely incredible. I'd call that shark tooth point. Oh, he's going for it now. He's got some names. I was gonna call it Shark Two something, but I'm like, nah. Do you know what's a better name? Fossil Ridge. Ooh. People climb that sort of stuff. Mad bastard. Do you know what we do? We look watch, at it. We watch people climb. That we stuff look at it from the car and say, wow. <laughs> would you look at that? <laughs> it is huge. That, that one in front of us is not even that big. Look to the one to the side of it. It. What is going on? Whoever made Canada and the big man happen, did they just get fully erect here? Nah! Massive mountains! More! You know, no, we've got enough. More! Look at that! What the fuck is going on? definition of humans moving mountains yeah just cutting is this like through. a canyon <gasps> that's a caution oh. elk next three my three kilometers right i'm ready caution elk next three kilometers oh we see one oh imagine this is what we're talking about oh my god i think these are bigger than the previous mountains we've been past a slope progression Oh yeah. Look, Look at that your left. Wow. Look at that. The water is just stupid colour. Maldivian. Honestly, it looks like something like like that reminds me of something like Iceland. Of like the gaze the geyser water or whatever, geyser water. It's like this crazy neon bluey green and that looks just like that. Oh my gosh. This is what it's about. This right here. Just looking at that. We're gonna go to Emerald Lake, but we're actually gonna see if we can go quickly stop off first at a place called Natural Bridge. And big step out. Oh, that is the sound of the Kicking Horse River. Imagine going to put your feet in the water and then accidentally just going in. Oh, it's like a little mini dam. Oh, come on. Oh, snap. Oh, oh, that is some white water rapid right there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you would not want to fall into that. No way, Jose. After three hours of driving, this is a pretty good place to stop and chill out. Cold, crisp drink in the hand, ice cold water in front of me, and beautiful, beautiful scenery. Wow. 
Lydia just had a kind of like amazing idea, right? This is so treacherous that if you went down there, like, I genuinely don't think you'd survive. But what would be epic is if we had a spare GoPro, put the floaty attachment on it, throw it in, and just see if it came out the other side. Obviously, I'm not trying to litter if it didn't, but I meant like, see what the experience of it going all the way through and then pick it up down the river where it's nice and calm. I, I'm sure some people have accidentally fallen on this and gone through, but look at that. Look at what it's just throwing you into. It's just like a crack between the rocks. I'm like, what's she shouting? Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo, National Park! Wow, wow, we were. Look at that. Like, you know when I said it looked dangerous from up there? Well, yeah, even more so now. If you survive getting through the gap, will you survive the undercurrent? Nope. So that was formerly a waterfall and it got bigger and bigger and bigger until it became a natural bridge of sorts. But eventually it will collapse and create a gorge. And then apparently after it's been a gorge, it will turn into a chasm. Is it a chasm? <laughs> or a chasm, yeah, a chasm. A chasm. Looks like I'm not the only one who went off the beaten track to get on top of the bridge. Good job we brought our boots because these are in full grip mode. Look at us little hikers about to be on top of the bridge. Look, people have carved the names into it and love hearts. Oh, you're so cute. Ta-da! <laughs> it sounds nasty. Oh my God. Oh, you would not want to be down there. It's so quiet there, but then over here, it is absolutely gnarlebuckle, dude. Risky business. Risky business. Risky business. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> this is seriously insane. i tell you what, I'll leave you the keys to the car. Oh, what am I going to do if you fall in? Oh, you'll be driving to the hospital to report it. Oh my gosh, my heart's in my mouth. Hello from the other side! <laughs> Woo! He's not just going to do it once, he was going to do it twice. Here he comes! Is it going to see the coverage of the dot com and buy yourself the brand new shirt? <laughs> I loved it. Good. I loved it a lot. <laughs> this is what I wanted to do. It's so hot. Danger. <laughs> Bridge. Yes. I love it. Like yeah, like nah. Yeah, nah. But then it was like, well, it's called a bridge, and there was no signs that were like, don't recommend it. Mm. It's got a bridge, so I crossed it. First stop off on our way to Banff. Epic. Yep. Now we've only just got to go up the road a little bit to see Emerald Lake. And yep, I can see why it's called Emerald Lake. Store on the water. Canoe rental. Canoe rental. Oh ho oh, ho. Oh, oh, oh. The natural bridge we just came from, all the water had come down the valley and filled up this Emerald Lake. Wow, wow, wow. Lydia, I watched that. You nearly went in and your phone went off the edge. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep, this was worth the visit, not gonna lie. I feel like I need even more context for the color of this. That is brown, this is black, <laughs> there is blue, <laughs> and there is that water. Look at the color difference. It's stupid. I'm in, oh, I'm in awe of that. That's the life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell is what it's called. Do you know what this actually reminds me of right now? What? Like when you go to Disneyland and they've got all the different areas around the world that you can go to. This this feels like it should be in the Netherlands, not Canada. But yeah, what an epic place to stay this must be. <laughs> is it cold? Not that bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
this might have to be done. I haven't got my swim shorts with me, but I don't really care. This might have to happen. That was totally worth getting back for. I have to walk back to the car like this now. <laughs> yeah. Well, we can never come back here. The, the, the restaurant's called Cilantro on the lake. Oh, Get out of here. We found one. What is it with us? We've not found one live. Oh yeah, we, we found, found, we found a, a stuffed bear and a stuffed moose. But if that's anything to go off, they're cheap bastards, aren't they? Oh. This place was definitely not a bad spot for a great beer. Emerald Lake, you approve? I approve. <laughs> wow. Flipping heck. The sun's not even gone down and it's seven o'clock at night. <sighs> Amazing. Do you, do you look that way? Do you look that way? Do you look that way? It's just stupid, isn't it? It's absolutely stupid. Give me a neck brace. Give me a neck brace. Even this whole terrain, just <sighs> incredible. So next stop is going to be Louise Lake, then Louise. Ma 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 Moraine, Lake. Moraine Lake, and then to a uh, Banff. Oh wow, I'm so glad I found my monster in the back of my hot car, <laughs> not in the ice cooler. <laughs> I've never felt so much more like an American Canadian with uh, just these at the ready and uh, can Canadian dry just at the side. Mm. I love the taste of HDMI cables. Mm. We made it. Look at that, there's a bear on the Ten. side. Lake Louise. I hear lots of beeping. We saw lots of signs saying parking full, so. Um, this might be as close as we get to Lake Louise. This might be as close as we get, yeah. We're going to try our very best and see what happens. So, um, wish us luck. And we are going to agree that that's probably the best and biggest mountain we've seen yet. I'm going to call that the Weird Sisters because there's three of them. The weird sisters. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna lie, we've just pulled up here and it says like parking full and we've managed to find one space. Oh, there's loads of spaces. There's like four. So we're a bit like we're a bit like seems like we've managed to park up a okay. Uh, I'm seeing signs saying remember to like pay, but the lake should just be down there. And we don't have to pay for park access because we already did it when we went up Mount Revelstoke. Yay! We're clear. Well, I think I can see why there's so many people here. The sun is going down. It is tourist central. We're two of them. But it is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. That is very nice. I think we've come at such a nice time that like the contrast of like the, the shadow and the sunset that is beautiful Mad fact, my uncle Kevin his wife and Anthony were stood in the middle of this lake because it was all completely frozen over How mad's that? This is really nice I like how we've like gone on like a lake adventure to see other lakes We went in the first lake, swam in the first lake The first lake was epic like you had peace, it was you know pretty chill, yeah. like calm. And this is just completely busily rammed to the we point where that, Oh yeah yeah yeah. Like to the point where we're like Lake, cool, let's go. <laughs> you won't believe it, there was water. We've done it, we've seen it. Yep. Water, tick, mountain, tick. trees. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, bye. Emerald Lake yeah. over Louise Lake. Easily. Yeah, but I think that one gets busy as well. I think we have just been particularly lucky today. But apparently the girl that we met, Lisa, said that there was, there's so many lakes that no one talks about that are just yeah, stunning. Yeah, just not the touristy hotspot ones. Yeah. To be fair, there's glaciers melting, just forming lakes everywhere. So it's take your pick really. And here we are. Woohoo! That is so picturesque. Oh, that's perfect, perfect, <laughs> perfect timing for you to stop at the crosswalk. But we are at... <laughs> What a city entrance, bloody hell. Well, that was a nice detour through Banff Town. Parking up the beast and entering to the Juniper Hotel or Lodge or something, which I gotta say, looks very nice. And uh, if we can get out to the back, the view looks incredible. 
because this is where we're going to be calling home for the night. Is this the entrance? Mm -hmm. Seems like a very nice hotel. However, um, we booked this place because it's got like a lovely restaurant with a view of the mountain behind us. On the booking website, it failed to say that the restaurant wasn't open on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. <sighs> Would have been nice to have a beautiful view and eat a beautiful meal, but I guess not. The sun is just beautifully landing on that mountain over there. We've got an hour to find ourselves some food because everywhere apparently closes at 10 inside Bump. So we're gonna head in there, get some food. And as Lydia just said, day five. In Canada, still no bear. Not one. Bam, back in Bam. Yeah, another non-real bear. And some beautiful artwork. Oh, owls. Beavers? Otter. Now that is a mega piece of art made out of tools with chains as the smoke. That's min. Bamp seems absolutely bad ass. Seems like a much busier Revelstoke. Cause like Revelstoke's like a really small town but it's up and coming massively. Whereas this place is already booming. What a mad, mad little town center this is. Look at it. Town center of Bamp and bam. And Lydia knows me, she knows me so well. She knows I love a good rock. Whoa. Some fool's gold or something. Wow. Oh, I want it. Oh, I want it. How would we get that home without breaking it whilst traveling? <laughs> Rather than shipping it, traveling it, that would be hilarious. Smells like leather. Probably because all over these walls, there's about 9,000 buffalo stripped of their skin. It just feels weirdly odd, like, like it belongs in Europe, not Canada. That building behind it, it seems like Europe. And you go to the left and you're like, right, okay, Canada, yeah, I get that. It's, it's really nice. We are currently on a hunt for a jumper that Lydia saw. That's like a, just a Banff jumper, but really comfy. A <laughs> There it is. So after five stores of walking around Banff, we found it. Oh, it's not the best like comfy material, but it's very nice. Is that one better? Oh, oh, it's nice on the inside, actually. What I just said to Lydia, I said, are these stores we're walking in, like, you know, just touristy Banff, 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 Banff on hats and mugs on everything. Are these the Blackpool rock shops of Canada and Banff? And she said, yeah. Baby, that is totally you. Maybe not the pink top sticking out of the, uh, at the top of you. Yeah, you want something long. Comfy, cozy. Is it cozy? Ah! I just asked the ladies behind, where should I eat? <laughs> just before everything closes. And they literally handed me this. <laughs> so we are on the hunt for somewhere to eat on this list. So someone keeps tweeting me saying, Tom, when you're in Banff, let me know because I'll hook you up with some things to do and all that sort of stuff. And I haven't replied to him because I don't know how long we're going to be here for, but we just walked out of a store and I'm seeing that guy. I don't know if it's him, but I'm going to go and say hello. Can you hold that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not only is this guy rocking the merch, so let's see the hat. That's Jeff Lombardo, my homie's hat. When did you get that? Uh, like four years ago. What? Wearing the merch is the best way for me to find you if I'm ever in your town. I've spotted the shoulder print, and we don't even do the shoulder print on much shirts anymore. We have to bring that back so I can spot you. That is mad. Shout out to Charlie. He got me to a bar, good music, and a beer at hand already. Mm. Beautiful, but copyright. Oh! I come back from the toilet and food has already arrived. Nice. Is it any good? Yep. So desperate to meet a bear. That's a real bear. Oh, how exciting. At the same time, it makes me less intimidating because that's a little one. It's not that big. Would you class that as, yeah? Another successful day. I think this town just got even better at night. It's so cute. Look at that for a bar or whatever it is. It's so lovely. Oh yeah, spray me. 
Ah. Ah. Can't wait to lick my lips later on and just go. <laughs> We've been caught up on the main street in Banff because give it, give it. in Paper Den, there is a piece of art that is a mountain on like the back of a bear, but like the silhouette of the bear. I like it a lot. I don't know why I, I awkwardly filmed it through the window. Oh. Uh, it's right there. That is amazing. Oh my God, I'd love to do something like that with Syndicate Original. So this is the whole point. You see cool art, and you'd be inspired by it. Steal like an artist. It's not about copying it one for one. It's about being inspired by it and seeing what you can do being inspired by that piece of art. That's cool. I'm saying this right now. I've probably never seen a piece of art that is more needing to be at our house. The fucking crows at the windows attacking me, stealing all my shit. And there they are. But I bet it's about $10 billion. Super zoom. Oh my God, I was close. <gasps> Bloody hell, do you know how much that is? Do your eyes work? I'm trying to zoom. <laughs> I, just, I just zoomed in with my camera. Yeah, it's nearly 10 grand. Nah, there's, there's no way that's a real picture. There's no way. That's incredible. Right? Yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> I feel like you're looking into our soul. Seriously? What bloody megapixel camera was that taken on? Hey, listen, are we taking it or are we not we taking it? Taking. Get it, clip it, ship it, pay for it. Ooh. Welcome to our hotel. We are room 112. They said the main floor, which makes me think, oh, it is this way. I didn't make you walk up no ramp. If you didn't see the ramp, you blind. Just like I feel looking for this room number. It's a this one, a one, one, two. Da -na 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 -na. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Every single one of them, we're never giving them back. We'll pay the fine. Separate beds, great. Oh, separate beds. Oh, how lovely. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okie dokie. Oh, wow, this view's in. Woo, jeez. We actually picked this hotel because the restaurant looked incredible. The view from the restaurant and potentially the room was going to be incredible. And then he said, there's no rooms with a view available. Eh. The restaurant's closed Tuesday, Wednesday. Eh. And this is our view. One sec, one sec, boys. Hold on to yourselves. Hold on to yourselves. Holy fucking shit. Wow. Look at what? On a positive note. What? We've been to Moraine Lake. Oh, yeah. We, we, we couldn't go to the lake. So the hotel brought the lake to us. Wow. Listen, it's just a room for the night. It's all we need. It's all we need. Is this curtain not big enough? This is like a Mr. Bean sketch. Is this curtain not big enough? One sec. Okay, what's going on? I'm just going to go ahead and close this. Don't worry, this place has internet. I hope. All right, I've got loads of GoPro footage that's not coming off my GoPro and able to get on my phone. So time to whip out the laptop, have a session of sending clips everywhere and anywhere I can to my editor, Ryan. And alas, ending this day. To well, I'm going to send it to Orion Watch. Thanks for listening. But guys, I hope you've been enjoying this adventure so far. I don't know where you're up to in it. If you haven't watched it from the beginning, go ahead and do so. Don't know where it's going to lead. We're going to make it up as we go. But make sure you like, subscribe. And whatever happens next happens.